Hi Pisces, what's up my home team? How's everyone doing? This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition. Um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. This video is gonna be for, um, this is gonna be a healing message this month. I feel like instead of doing the mid months, I wanted to change it up and make it more on a healing, um, on a healing energy, if you will. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. Um, I feel like just the month of December is really, really fun and exciting in so many ways, celebrating the holidays. A lot of family are in town and friends and that sort of thing, but at the same time, for a lot of people it can be very difficult um, if you're missing someone or if you this is your first holiday season maybe without someone or something like that so anyways with that being said I wanted to just kind of focus on the healing um, even though um, a lot of a lot of planets have gone direct and things are feeling more energetically just kind of up right now and that's awesome I'm feeling it too but at the same time I do feel um, the need if you will to do more of a healing based reading and I'm going to use um, mostly my oracle decks and then at the end I'm going to use a tarot deck. I'm going to use the um, the wild unknown which I haven't been using as much and so I wanted to just kind of use it as clarifiers as like a past, present, and future kind of feel. So I hope you like it. Thank you all so much for everything. Pisces, y'all are um, just so supportive and I appreciate you so, so much. So let's get into it. So I'm going to, and y'all have seen, I think all of these decks. So except for maybe I have the, the angel answers deck and we're going to use that one too, but I'm going to start off with my, uh, with the indigo deck here and we're going to pull, uh, three cards from this one, just straight from the top. All right. Spirit, what messages do we have for Pisces for the month of December, please? What healing message do Pisces need to hear? Ooh, make a wish popped out. I love it. I love it. I haven't cut the deck yet, so I'm not going to take it. But Pisces, that was like an extra bonus. <laughs> so make a wish. Whatever you're wishing for, um, make it. <laughs> Two more shuffles. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a healing message for the sign of Pisces for the month of December. Oh my gosh, Pisces. There it is again. It's definitely time to make a wish. Pisces, beautiful. Then we have the expression card. Beautiful. Express yourself. I'm hearing the Madonna song. Aw. And you are loved. Absolutely, Pisces. Beautiful messages right off the bat. So, but I'm not surprised. Pisces, come on. All right, so let's break this down a little. So make a wish. Um, this is really, really special, especially the fact that it fell out while I was trying to shuffle and now it's here again. So I feel like this is extremely important and it's the first card that wanted to pop out here. So Pisces, um, there's been a lot going on and I feel like it's just time to listen to your heart and I'm hearing let your heart sing, let your heart soar and whatever it is that you're truly trying to bring in, uh, make sure that you get grounded and say, say your thank yous, say your gratitudes and um, just whatever pops into your head, whatever it is that you're really trying to bring in, whether it's um, love that you have for yourself, you know, more self-love I feel like is so important. If you're trying to bring in a new romance, a new love, if you're just trying to bring in, um, if you're wishing for better health, whatever it is, if you're wishing for someone else, Whatever it is, there's no right or wrong answer here. So very beautiful message for Pisces. Um, and then we have the expression card. I love this card. This is so beautiful. Um, she's got a beautiful um, umbrella. And she's just like, hey, I, I'm doing my thing. I'm being myself, which is very Pisces. Pisces, y'all are super unique and very creative and you love to express how different you are from everybody else. I know a lot of you don't really fit into the normal mold that, you know, society likes to try to put us in sometimes. So I feel like this is beautiful if it's anything from expressing yourself through your art, through your creative adventures, expressing yourself through your relationships, through your own love. You know what I mean? Just let it shine. Let yourself shine this month, especially this month. Um, you know, through, I don't know if you like dress differently or if you, 
if the way you talk is different, if the way that you love is different, whatever it is, don't be afraid of if it's different. Just be you, 110%, just be you, Pisces. So, ooh, I just love that message too. And then, so sweet, so, so sweet, you are loved. This is such an important uh, message here, Pisces, for you. Um, you know, this is about so many things that you are loved, first and foremost, by your angels and guides and the powers of the universe. This is just so beautiful. Whatever, Whoever you pray to or whatever you pray to, this is about knowing no matter what, even in those times of feeling alone, like maybe no one understands me or no one, no one gets me or I just feel so lonely and... You know, sometimes we compare ourselves, well, they have a nice life over there and that's a happy couple over there and they have it all over there. You know, it's not about that. It's about coming back to you, recognizing the beauty that you have within yourself and knowing that you truly are loved and accepting, I'm hearing, accepting yourself for who you are, again, 110%. It goes so well with both of these um, expression card expression card, and the Make-A-Wish card. So um, just make sure that you are being yourself, loving yourself, and knowing that the universe loves you. I love you, y'all know that. So <laughs> beautiful, beautiful messages. Um, so we're gonna move on to the Whispers of Love deck here. Y'all see me use this one before. And I'm gonna get two cards from here. And this doesn't have to be romantic. It can be about self-love, which you know I'm a huge advocate for. <laughs> um, it can be about love that you have for others, um, you know, parents, family members, you know, our friends, that sort of thing. All right, this is gonna be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is gonna be a message for Pisces. Spirit, what, what loving message do we wanna send to Pisces? Two more shuffles. What loving message does Pisces need to hear for the month of December? Rest and relaxation is essential. Sen spend some quality time together. Beautiful messages. Let me put these away and then I will read the card. Um, this first card is card number 42. I know I've talked to Pisces recently about the number two. I feel like a lot of other Pisces are seeing the number two a lot, two, 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 even two, 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 two. Like, you know, that's been coming up a lot. And this card is number 42, seeing a lot of twos in groups of four. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Y'all know what I mean. And fours as well. Fours is around, but I feel very strongly about the twos. Um, and four and two together is six. And so um, I feel like sixes and twos are very, very um, popular, being very, very, um, uh, they're being very seen this month in the month of December for Pisces, okay? It says rest and relaxation. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks, okay? Beautiful. And I love this card for Pisces. This is so appropriate. Um, Pisces, you know, we're fish <laughs> and she is just taking a nap and she's, um, to me, she really looks like she's in the water, which I really love. Like she's a, a beautiful mermaid. So this is about taking time to rest. There's a, um, over here in the corner, I don't know if you can see, there's like, um, like a spiritual figure, kind of like the, the god of the sea, like, what is it? What Y'all will know what I'm saying. Um, but this is like her, I feel like this is like divine masculine energy protecting, um, you know, it could be feminine or masculine, but I really feel um, protection from the divine masculine right now through this card of just saying, hey, my loves, just take a break, just take a breather, um, especially for Pisces, it's really, really healthy and good for you to, you know, make sure you're getting enough rest, making sure you're nurturing yourself and just taking a break, especially in the month of December, family, shopping, you know, just, you know, emotions coming up, you know, ever, you know, you never know 
who you're, what your what your neighbor, what your friend is really going through. I mean, maybe your friend, but you know what I mean. Like maybe the stranger on the bus or the the person behind you in the in the shopping line at the grocery store. You know what I mean. Like if people start losing their patience a little bit and they seem a little um, testy, it's it's probably for a reason. And, and I'm not saying that there's an excuse for people to be rude or anything like that. But you know what I mean. It's just like the the message I'm trying to get across is you never really know what someone else is going through. So, um, but especially for yourselves too, I feel like this is a message for you to, um, you know, and I, I, I connect there too, just of like, you know, y'all don't really know what, what I'm going through. Y'all don't really, you know, you, and I don't really know what you're going through, you know, on a, on an intimate personal level with yourself. So, um, this is about, t about, I'm hearing acknowledging that and making sure that you're taking time for yourself. It is so important rest, drink lots of water, listening to healing music that, that speaks to your soul is also very, very important, Pisces. Okay, let's move on. And then we have, yep, number 46. Um, again, with the sixes and the fours. So twos, fours, and sixes are very, very um, popular this month. You know, twos are talking about balance. It also talks about being at the right place at the right time so the divine can line you up with you know, a soul partner, even if it's not romantic, it can be a best friend that you spend the rest of your life with and y'all, you know, drink coffee and talk on the phone every morning. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then fours, you know, are about structure, about our home life, about working on um, balance as well, but, but more about the home, about our careers and our relationships. And sixes to me are about, you know, true love. I think of the lover's card, Gemini number six. So um, very, very good. Also, the number six is about accomplishments as well. Um, I think of the six of wands, um, getting through the five. Fives are about changes. And then, oh, I get to the six. We're not at the 10 yet, oh, but at least I got through that five because fives are all about change. Um, sometimes change that's forced upon you and that can be very difficult to deal with. So anyways, I just felt like I needed to talk about the numbers. <laughs> All right, Pisces. And this card says, spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those that we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. Very, very beautiful message here, Pisces. Uh, those of you that are in relationships, make sure you count your blessings. If those are the people or the person that you truly want to be with, that you just feel drawn to and so happy um, because there's so many people that don't have that. So please make sure that's a blessing in and of itself to have a divinely guided love. And those of you that don't have a significant other, this is about spending, again, quality time with yourself. And the more that you heal yourself and love yourself and focus on that, um, you know, the better it is to bring in someone who is supposed to be with you. So very, very nice. All right, let's go to the, I love this deck too. It's got the gold. I love it. I love gold <laughs> so much. All right, this is going to be, um, this is called the Angel Answers deck, I believe. Yeah, Angel An Answers deck. So we're going to pull one card from here. Any other further messages that we have for Pisces in the month of December, please? This is about a healing message for Pisces. Three more shuffles. I was checking on Chino. <laughs> His eye looked kind of funny. Ooh, wow. It says a year from now, Pisces, a year from now. What a beautiful message. I feel like this is a very uh, strong message for Pisces to um, a year from now. Exactly. Just think of, think of your life in a more um, bigger scope for those of you that are going through something if you're healing from something from a relationship from you know changing jobs or 
anything, you know, missing an old friend or, you know, if, if, if you're without someone this holiday season, anything like that, whatever, whatever it is that you're going through, um, please understand and know that it is just temporary. I think of the wheel, um, the wheel of fortune of, you know, how it's the wheel of life. Like we just keep going, we keep spinning, right? Um, and whatever, whatever's going on now, it's not going to be going on a year from now. If you've lost someone, yes, you might still not have that person, but the feelings that you have right now, um, you won't hopefully still be having them in a year from now. I know that you won't, or at least not on this level, okay? And from a year from now, I feel like just so many things are gonna be changing for you. Think about your future. Think about where you're going to be in a year from now. You know, the first card we have out was make a wish. You know, think about your future as well. Very, very beautiful. Um, so you just never know what the universe has in store for you, even when you feel like things are just not working out for you, or you just feel frustrated with yourself or with another person. Um, just please know that it's all temporary and blessings are on their way for sure. Very beautiful message. And then I'm going to get this deck out. This is the um, Wild Unknown deck. I've been practicing with this deck. Um, so I just want to do a quick little past, present, future just to kind of have a check-in um, to see where we're at with... Um, this is all about healing. This is a, another healing message, okay? Spirit, what messages in regards to healing do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of December, please? healing message for Pisces. We're looking at past, present, and future. In the past, we have the moon. Present, we have the Hierophant. And in the future, we have the full Pisces. Ooh, bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. Pisces, this is beautiful, 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 beautiful messages here. Pisces. So we have your card here. Um, also could be dealing with a cancer. So this is about past energy. So I feel like a lot of us are really transforming right now. A lot of us are really um, going through something major and coming out of a time of illusions, even even illusions that we keep in our own mind, like not seeing the real truth of something, you know, staying in that that subconscious mind, if you will. So um, this is past energy here with the moon. You're pushing past that. Um, you're pu you're pushing uh, uh, more towards your truth, okay? And more towards um, a commitment here. I'm really seeing here with the Hierophant as well. This is in your present energy. We have the Hierophant, okay? This is a true calling. This is a true calling to commit. Commit to yourself, to commit to um, your responsibilities of what you're trying to do, whether it's about business, about going off on your own for your own business, um, being more serious in your career, being more serious, and not serious, but just like with yourself, you know, just really committing to the self and never giving up on yourself is really a huge, a huge message I'm hearing for Pisces. Um, and Hierophant could also mean for a lot of you, um, commitment within, within a relationship, of course. So very beautiful message. Some of you are truly um, coming into union with a divine partner and it's time to, you know, have a great conversation and really get, um, get to know that person to where you can figure out if this is, you know, a person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. You know, that's a message for some of you as well. And then beautiful, in our distant future, we have the Fool card. Um, I love this card so much. Um, the Fool is about trust. This is about starting over, but trusting. Um, you have everything you need here with the Magician card. 
to transform yourself, okay? And even under the under that, we have um, the death card. So there's a complete transformation going on for so many of you Pisces, something that you're letting go of, um, something that's kind of had you held back, trapped a little bit in the past. You're getting through it and really rising up for a lot of you. And for so many of you too, with the Hierophant and your present energy, this is about... Um, a spiritual calling for a lot of you coming into your life's purpose I'm hearing as well and that's touching the year a year from now so think about where you'll be in your life's path in even a year from now and start taking steps to how you can make that happen for the best and highest good of you Pisces and then just trusting the plan trusting yourself the full card okay trusting um, that you are on the right path because you are Okay, and you have everything already built within you to get there and to get there successfully. So, all right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this type of reading. I love using my Oracle decks and I felt this was also be a good way for me to start um, bringing in the um, Wild Unknown deck. So thank you for um, letting me do this for you. I love you all so, so much. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, wherever you are. I love you all so much, my home team. Y'all give me so much love every single day. I feel it so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see y'all soon. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe um, so you can see my daily readings. All right, bye.